welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me again. I have some really fun and exciting Christmas DIYs. I'm so excited. Can't wait to share. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and being a subscriber. And without further ado, let's get crafting. This is going to be a Wayfair dupe. So I got this little box from Hobby Lobby on clearance for like two something. I'm using the Dollar Tree um, Christmas tree. Um, it's not as bushy as the one in the image, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to use these two paints. One's Red Barn and one's Red Flag. I'm going to be applying two coats. So I'm just going to mix these two paints together. So those two paints together created a very pretty color. So the Wayfair picture has the word believe and that's what I created on my Cricut and I'm going to be applying it to the box. This is really cute. You can take your Dollar Tree um, Christmas tree and place it in a little box. If you don't have a box, you can use like, Dollar Tree has those little containers as well, but it gives you an idea what you can do with these and make these trees look really pretty. So now I'm just placing down the word believe on the box. The one I seen at Wayfair, I believe it was like $44 or something like that. It was pretty expensive. Now I'm going to be using this floral foam that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place some glue inside the box and apply the floral foam on top. So now I'm just uh, taking the Christmas tree, the leaves down and fixing it to my liking and because uh, you know it was in the little box. And then once I get it to where I like it, I'm going to place it inside. So this Christmas tree I bought last year at Dollar Tree. And it's so much bigger than the one they're selling this year. This year, there's like nothing to it. There's like maybe three rolls of the Christmas tree leaves. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so I want to make it a little more uh, fuller in the middle because you can see through it. I grabbed these Dollar Tree um, leaf fillers, I guess they're called. I'm not sure what they're called, stems. And I'm just wrapping them in the middle. Now I'm placing some hot glue down the bottom where the flora foam is and then I'm going to place the tree right on top of it. So I'm taking the Dollar Tree, um, I don't know what it's called, snow, snow cloth. <laughs> I'm really bad at names guys. Well anyways, I want to put it inside uh, because you know you have to cover the flora foam so you can't see in there and uh, to make it look pretty. I don't know if I would spend $44 at Wafer for this. Um, I made this and it's really cute in person and I really love it. Um, but I don't know, $44 at Wayfair? No, I don't think so. So I'm taking some Dollar Tree Christmas bulbs that I got from last year and just uh, placing some around. I started to place them with the hooks and noticed the picture was kind of, I think they glued them down. So I started to glue them down. I'm just using gold and red right now because that's all I have left over from last year. Um, I think this matches pretty good to the picture. Um, it's not as bushy, but it really is uh, quite similar. Here it is. I think it came out very pretty. All right, guys, I wanted to show you how adorable and beautiful this Dollar Tree gift bag was. And I just wanted to show you really something fast. It's really not a DIY, but this is something that's going on my wall. I'm just tracing this out real quick and I'm going to place it inside the frame and I'm going to show you how pretty it turns out. Yeah. 
It is so pretty. For this DIY, these are the things I'm going to be using. I'm using two Dollar Tree stars. The first one I'm going to be using is the floating star. I got this pretty paper from Hobby Lobby. I'm just removing the uh, rope from it and then I'm going to take the middle star and trace it. Now I'm going to be cutting it out and then I'm going to take that and grab some tacky glue and place it down. Now for the outside star, I'm taking some of this Apple Barrel white paint. I'm just going to paint one coat. So I'm going to be using some Mod Podge and I'm going to apply a little bit on the outside star and then I'm going to place some fake snow all around it. This is from Hobby Lobby. Uh, Dollar Tree carries the fake snow as well, but this one is a little bit different. Um, I don't know. It's I think it seems thicker. Now I'm taking a little blessed piece that I painted white, taking the hot glue, placing it in the back, and place it on the star. These little wood pieces from Dollar Tree, you can do anything with them. Just like I'm doing here with some little craft paper. Um, you could put them on you could put them on wood. I mean you can do a lot with them. I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do with it here. So now I'm just placing um, some white string through the hole. So this way it'll stay and hang in the middle of the big star. Came out really cute. And this is the final product. Alright, for this next star, I'm taking the Hobby Lobby craft paper and I'm removing the string from the star and then I'm going to trace this one as well. So I'm just cutting out the star and then I'm going to place some Mod Podge, not Mod Podge, I'm using tacky glue. Uh, tacky glue in the back and apply it on the star. So I'm going to be using Apple Barrel white paint. I'm going to paint the blessed word and the believe metal word. Um, it's hard to paint the metal, but uh, I gave it one coat of the white and then I will sprinkle some glitter and that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to be using nutmeg paint and burnt umber and I'm going to start painting uh, the little bell. I'm trying to make it look really old and rusty. Um, so now I'm just going to take the two paints and my little chippy brush and just start dabbing away. I think these Dollar Tree bells are very pretty but uh, you know, you can leave them white if you like, but I want to make it look rustic. I'm trying to make this star and the bell combination look very old, antique, uh, rustic feel to it. I think it's starting to look very cute and very rustic. Um, those two combinations, those paints, they really do uh, make it look rustic looking. If you want to try it. Um, these are the two I use all the time. And this is how it looks um, after I put the two paints together. Now I'm going to be using the same two paints and I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge of the star just to make it look, you know, rustic.
I'm also putting some on the ridges of it inside, um, in between, and then the edges, and then a little bit in front. Doesn't it look rustic? It looks really good. Um, just put a little bit in front as well. So now I'm going to put the belief sign. I'm going to use some Elmer's glue. Um, hot glue doesn't seem to work very well, so I'm going to try this. I couldn't put the belief sign like right in the middle because it wouldn't fit, so that's where I had to put it. But I think it still looks cute. So now I'm going to take the bell and I'm going to take some hot glue and place some glue in the back so I can hang the bell. And this is how it looks hanging from the star. It looks pretty cute. So now I have this pick that I bought from Hobby Lobby and I kind of like took it apart. I'm trying to figure out how I can, you know, decorate the top portion of it. So I took some uh, berries, the red berries, and a little bit of the greenery, and I'm just going to hot glue it to the top. So I just grabbed some white twine and I'm going to hot glue to the back so this way I can hang this pretty piece. I think this came out very beautiful and um, for tree products it came out amazing and this is the end results. These are the supplies that I've used in this DIY. I'm taking this Dollar Tree wrap paper and I'm just going to wrap the canvas that I purchased from Five Below. Cutting out the wrapping paper to size, um, the size of the canvas. Now that I have the um, paper cut, I'm going to start hot gluing it to the canvas. Now I'm taking three gingerbread cutouts and I'm going to place them down on the canvas, um, figure out where I want to place them. I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, all the supplies are bought from Dollar Tree, except the little round peppermints. Now I'm just taking my hot glue gun and placing it on the gingerbread and placing it down on the canvas. I take this black puffy paint that I got from Walmart and uh, draw, or not draw, but uh, use it to create their little eyes and mouth. Now I'm just creating the icing around his legs, arms, and his hair. So now I'm going to be using these buttons that I got from Dollar Tree and just going to pull out two buttons and a variety of different colors and use them on all three of the gingerbreads. So now I'm going to take these peppermints that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to hot glue them on all the corners, four corners. So I felt like it needed a little bit more uh, decorations on it. So I'm grabbing these Dollar Tree buttons and I'm placing a few here and there all around the canvas area. So I want to dress up the little girl. I took this uh, Dollar Tree brown felt and I measured it um, to make a little skirt and I'm just going to hot glue it on the little gingerbread. Now I'm using the white puffy paint 
and I'm just creating a little icing all around the edges of her little skirt. So I use this LA Looks I got from Dollar Tree to create little pink cheeks on the gingerbread and I'm just showing you what I used. So I'm using this Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm going to create two little bow ties. So I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm going to place them down on the gingerbread. So I also want to give her a little uh, ribbon uh, bow, not a bow tie, but a little bow. And I'm just creating one out of this Dollar Tree ribbon. So I'm using these letters that I got Dollar Tree that I removed the letters and it's the outline. Placing the outline on this brown felt and I'm going to cut it out with scissors and then I'm going to hot glue it to the canvas and it comes out so adorable. Now I'm placing down some Mod Podge and I'm sprinkling some white glitter to make it look like a cookie, a real gingerbread cookie. I also add a little bit around the wrapping paper as well. Off camera I took that red and white um, Hobby Lobby rope and created a little hanging uh, string in the back so I can hang it. I think this came out so adorable, so full of color and so inexpensive. Um, however, if you are trying to recreate this, you can always go to Dollar Tree. They have canvases, and I'm sure they still have the gingerbreads there still, the packages of them. I think they come in 10 or 12. And here's the finished project. I'm taking this white apple barrel paint and this Dollar Tree uh, wood. It's It was longer, I actually cut it, and I'm just gonna give it one quick coat. So the paint's still wet. I'm gonna grab my white glitter and just uh, put a little bit all over the board. Now I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree um, silver letters and I'm just going to spell out the word Merry Christmas. This is my favorite one. This came out so beautiful, quick and easy. Um, right now I'm just spelling out the word Merry. And this is what it looks like. Merry Christmas. Look, it came out really pretty. Now I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree ornament and I'm just cutting the bottom base of it because I want it to stand up, but then I decided to just hot glue it to the back. Now I'm taking the tags off this Santa that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's an ornament and I'm just going to place him on the little wood piece with a little bit of glue. This deer I got from uh, Hobby Lobby as well. I'm just taking the tags off. It's really pretty. I think it's really a cute little deer. Uh, I'm gonna place them down on so the board So once I well. have them all situated where I like them, I'm gonna start gluing the bottom of their feet down. This came out so pretty, so elegant, and I love the contrast of the white, the sparkling glitter. I love this one. And this is how it turned out. It is so beautiful. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. I do appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter.